What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm gonna quickly show you how to create a bootable macOS Catalina install drive. So in my case I've gotten here this pen drive right here. I want to turn it into a bootable macOS Catalina drive to install it into this laptop here on my right okay because i've got in here on my right a macbook which is dead it doesn't have any operating system so i want to install it and the only way to install it is through an external pen drive in here as a bootable installation disk and i'll be using this macbook here at the left which is working fine to prepare my pen drive in here as as a bootable installation disk hey my name is Shaq and in this channel i help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the youtube channel so first things first before we even get started with this i would like to let you guys know that you need to have a pen drive with a minimum of 16 gigabytes of storage this is important in order for this to work in my case i've got in here a sandisk ultra with over 64 gigabytes of storage so i'll be getting everything ready here and then i'm going to be installing here on my macbook air 2014. so without any further ado let's jump straight into the process here on my macbook which is working fine so once you're here in your macbook computer the very first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to hop into our internet browser in my case i'm using google chrome and then you're gonna head to this website in here do not worry the link to this exact same web page is down in the description box below so this is the official page from apple supports from where we can actually download the operating system so you're gonna scroll down all the way to this heading in here which says use the app store so once you're here you're gonna stop and you'll be able to see this list of operating systems in here mac os operating systems so what we want to do in here is we want to select the operating system that we wish to download so in our case we want to download mac os catalina and 10.15 is the latest version of mac os catalina so what we're going to be doing is we're going to tap here on catalina and then we've got this prompt in here let's click on open app store here we go this link will take us to the official app store and this is where we can actually download the macOS Catalina operating system from. Next up, we're going to tap here on get, okay? And then a new window is going to pop up in here. Let's just wait. Let's just wait for a couple seconds. And then we've got this prompt asking us if you want to download macOS Catalina 10.15.7 simply tap on download and the download should start in a few seconds now depending on your internet speed the download may take for example half an hour all the way to an hour or if you have a much faster network connection it might take you 10 minutes or even five minutes in my case it asks me for 22 minutes let's just sit back relax and wait until this download is completed here in my macbook device so here we go the download process is complete and we've got in here a message a pop-up which says this copy of macOS catalina installer application is too old to be open on this version of macOS. do not worry simply tap on quit this is normal to appear do not panic because what happens is this is an automatic uh, response from my operating system because i'm running macOS sequoia on a much newer macbook so do not worry about this because we are going to get ready or pen drive to install on a different computer so simply tap on quit do not worry about that simply close up system preferences close up app store and then minimize the browser next up what we need to do is simply connect the usb pen drive that we wish to turn it into a bootable mac os catalina operating system so here we go i've already connected my pen drive so we're going to tap here on spotlight search at the top right corner we're going to search for disk utility so once you see disk utility simply double click on disk utility and then we want to locate the usb pen drive here at the left so you need to head to external tab in here okay do not forget external in here and then down here we've got any external disk connected which is in my case my usb pen drive here we go this is my pen drive and then after selecting it 
you want to tap on erase and then make sure that the format is set to macOS extended journal and then tap on erase right this will take you a few seconds to erase and format your disk now make sure that this will erase all data on your disk so you want to make sure you do not have any information in your disk if you have something important please do make a backup before erasing it then tap on done we're going to close in here the disk utility and then we're going back to the spotlight search at the top right corner this time we'll be searching for applications folder here we go applications folder simply double click to open it and then over here we've got all installed apps to our computer okay to our macbook so we want to search for install macOS catalina here we go okay we've got the setup of macOS catalina in here that we need to prepare it into our pen drive next up you're gonna simply type on right click and then you're gonna tap on show package contents double click on contents and then simply double click here on resources double click on resources and then you want to search for this file in here which is known as create install media okay so you want to select this file and then you want to keep this folder aside let me quickly just uh, reduce the size of my folder so it doesn't occupy a lot of space here we go this is the file next up we're going to open up the spotlight search once again which is our best friend in today's video and then we're going to search for terminal okay here we go we've got terminal right here double click on terminal next up in here we need to be typing a specific command very carefully okay let me just increase the size of my terminal here by using command plus just to make it more visible now what we're going to be typing in here is the following sudo space and then we're going to the folder here we're going to select create install media drag it all the way and then release it here inside terminal this is how it goes drag it all the way to terminal release it and then we'll be able to get the path of this specific file in here that's all we wanted next up we're going to type dash dash volume and then space and then we're going back to the finder in here we're going to scroll down here on this left tab we want to locate the usb pen drive okay that we just formatted Next up, right click on the USB disk and then tap on show in enclosing folder. Here we go, you'll be able to see it here and then simply do the same thing. Hold it, drag it all the way to terminal and release it in terminal to get the path here of the USB pen drive. Next up, we're good to go. What we need to do next is simply tap on enter or return on your keyboard simply tap on enter it's going to ask you for your password to unlock this user on your macbook simply type in here now please note that it might not be visible here okay it might not show up as if you're not clicking anything but do not worry simply type it and then tap on enter or return once again next up it's going to ask you whether you want to erase the volume and wish to continue simply type in the letter y and then simply tap on enter once again or return and then the process of preparing the disk to turn it into a bootable macOS catalina install drive will start in a few seconds this should take you 10 to 15 minutes all you need to do is wait for a couple minutes and let your computer do its thing as you can see we've got in here copying to disk zero percent let's wait for a couple minutes here we go it's now on 10 percent all you need to do is just wait and make sure you do not disconnect the usb pen drive from your computer just wait for a couple minutes here we go we're now at 90 percent and the process of copying the operating system is almost complete let's wait for a few more seconds and here we go we now have here this message which says making disk bootable copying boot files and then boom install media now available at the volumes install macOS Catalina so the process of preparing our USB drive is now done and if we head here to the finder once again we can see that the name of our pen drive changed to install macOS Catalina okay you can see it right here and here we go we've got the installation here in our pen drive and our pen drive is ready to go next up we will eject 
the pen drive from our computer in order to connect it into the computer that we wish to install the operating system. So to eject, simply tap here and then the disk is now ejected. Let's move into our MacBook. So here we go. I'm now here giving a look at my MacBook in here and I've got my pen drive in here, which is ready to go. The installation is already here and we've got it ready to be installed into a MacBook device. Okay. So what we want to do in here is turn on while pressing and holding the option key here at the inferior left corner of your MacBook's keyboard. Okay. However, if you have a M chip MacBook, such as the M1, M2, M3, or the latest models having the M chips, instead of pressing and holding the option key while turning it on, you just need to press and hold the power button and hold it for a couple seconds until you see the screen that allows you to boot up from your pen drive. So you don't need to hold option if you have a much newer M chip MacBook model. So first things first, let's connect the pen drive into our computer while it's turned off. Here we go. It's now connected and then tap on power, press and hold option here. Do not release the option key. Keep on pressing it and then boom, release the key. As soon as you see this screen right here. So what do we actually have in here? This is a screen that allows us to select from where we want to boot our computer from. We've got in here Untitled, which is the first disk, the second one Recovery, and the third one, which is Install macOS Catalina. So you want to move all the way to the right and then select Install Catalina. So in order to do this, all you need to do is use the arrow keys here on your keyboard, right? So go left, go left, Install macOS Catalina, tap on enter and boom, you're good to go. The installation process is now launching. As you can see, we've got in here the progress bar taking place. And all you need to do is just wait for a couple seconds until macOS Catalina launches here in your computer so you can install it as a fresh new install. So here we go. The progress bar is almost complete. All you need to do is just wait for a couple more seconds let the computer do its thing and here we go it's now loading we've got the macOS recovery starting right here and then boom here we go we've got install macOS in here you just need to select this option tap on continue and then the installation process in here will start immediately here with macOS Catalina boom here we go macOS Catalina to set up the installation simply tap on continue and start installing macOS Catalina into your device tap on continue agree with the terms and conditions tap on agree and then simply select the disk where you want to install it of course will be this one in here 128 gigabytes and then simply tap here uninstall to start the process. Pretty easy tutorial. In my case, I won't be installing it right now, but this is all you need to do in, in order to have the operating system here and install it into your computer. If you have any questions or any doubts, please leave it down below in the comment section and I'll make sure I reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq and if you find my content useful, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as it helps me to reach out to more people and consequently help more people facing the same issue as yours. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.